And let's head over to Tyler where he's already talking about wind and rain and cloud cover. It's all too much, but nice for Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got a couple of days to get get through though. Uh, some some pretty bad weather over the next couple of days before we can get to that nice weather on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So take a look at this. We've certainly seen better images on the radar, haven't we? A lot of cloud cover out there right now. Some rainfall moving to uh, moving through Metro Atlanta. Now what we had in Gainesville has uh, started to taper off, but we are so starting to see some showers pop up over Tate and Ball Ground, and we're seeing that beginning to move into Tacoa as well. There is a nice line of shower activity moving through downtown Atlanta, Mary all the way into Johns Creek. And then once you get south of I-20, all that activity that I was showing you earlier has, uh, has since tapered off. A lot more down to the south, though. Look at this over the Gulf. This is where our next weather maker is forming, and this weather maker is going to make a beeline right for us, and that's going to increase the cloud cover, also increase the rain chances, too. And because of the cloud cover and the rainfall that we're dealing with now, our temperatures are held in check. Uh, temperatures are actually considerably warmer than this time yesterday. Yesterday, we had temperatures in the 20s and the 30s. Today, we have pretty uniform uh, temperatures in the 40s, and then once we get into the afternoon, we'll probably get close to 50 to 52 degrees. One thing you'll notice as that weather maker down to the south begins to approach, not only will the cloud cover increase and the rainfall increase, but there will be a bite in the air because the wind speeds are calm at the moment, but they're going to spike up. By the time we get to Sunday, we're looking at 30, 35 mile per hour wind gusts, and that spills on over into Monday. And it's that wind from the south that brings up the rainfall. Again, not a lot of rainfall today, just isolated activity. But then uh, the weather conditions start to take a turn once we go into tomorrow. We stop the clock here at 8.30 in the morning tomorrow, and the cloud cover remains, yes, but there's that line of rainfall down to the south, and that just moves right in. Uh, once we get to lunchtime, we're seeing um, Atlanta up to Marietta, maybe Cherokee County, uh, Canton, you're seeing some heavy rainfall, and then we all get into the mix by the time we get to the afternoon hours. And the yellow and oranges here south of I-20, that's where the heaviest rainfall will be located. And then we cut and paste the same forecast pretty much for Monday, too. In terms of rainfall totals, the first two days of, uh, of winter, we're going to see about two inches north of I-20, two to four inches south of I-20, some isolated higher amounts. That does raise the concern for possible flooding. So have a heads up if you're hitting the, the roadways uh, tomorrow and on Monday. So here are the weather headlines. Here are the three takeaways from the forecast. Rainfall is on the way. Two to four inches expected with isolated higher amounts. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds will be coming in as well. So if you have any loose items outside, any um, uh, Christmas decorations, make sure you secure those down. This is the big weather maker across the nation at the moment. It will cause some travel delays. There's not uh, too much going on across the rest of the country, so we're not looking at a lot of travel delays outside of Hartsville Jackson. But with Hartsville Jackson being such a hub, do anticipate some travel delays if you're going to be uh, flying out in the next couple of days. Seven day forecast. Here you go. We got today not too bad, but then pretty rough conditions on Sunday and Monday. Clears out on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Both days look pretty good. And then as we go into Thursday and Friday, we see our next weather maker approach. And next weekend, looks like we could possibly be dealing with a similar scenario as to what we're dealing with right now. Latasha?